Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's project will be a blowgun mouthpiece similar to this one. I made this mouthpiece some time ago and on this one I used a solid piece of wood. But for today's project I want to use plywood. This is a marine grade plywood. It's a leftover piece from my spear gun project. And the first thing I'll do is to cut a few pieces, then glue it all together to create enough thickness for the mouthpiece. So let's start. Okay, I'm gonna cut six pieces, then glue it all together to create the right thickness. Now these pieces are way too big, so I'm gonna cut this side off to create a square, roughly six centimeters wide, about 2.3 inches. Now with the file, I'm gonna just clean up a little bit all the edges to get this ready for gluing. I need to drill a small hole right in the center of each piece. It will be roughly five and a half millimeters diameter. That will be for this screw. Once I start stacking all the pieces together, I put this screw through all of them and that will prevent the parts from start sliding around when I clamp it. And the best way to find the center of the square with the ruler, just line up with the two corners, like that, put a line on it, line up the ruler with the other two corners and make another small line, and there's the center. Now with all the pieces clamped in the vise, I'll drill the hole through all of them. Next I start gluing all the pieces together and with the screw in the middle and using a little bit of uh, wood glue I'll start stacking all the pieces together. Tight this a little bit, not much, I don't want to squeeze all the glue out and uh, then I'll use a couple of small clamps because I want to take this screw out before the glue sets otherwise it will be very difficult. By the magic of YouTube the glue has already dried and now I'll cut this to a more manageable shape to turn the mouthpiece. First I'll draw a circle using this improvised compass and after I'll go to the band saw to cut the excess material. Before I start cutting this block of plywood into something like this, I need to make a small pocket on this side here. And for that I'll use this 16 millimeter paddle drill. That pocket will be for the head of this 8 millimeter screw. Using 5 minute epoxy, I'll glue the head inside the pocket. Then using my drill press machine, I can turn this into the right shape. Now with this 10 millimeter drill, I'll make a hole right through. And 
and now it's ready to glue the 10 millimeter screw. I want to fill the pocket with the epoxy to make sure that this doesn't come loose. Looks pretty good so far. I'm going to let it set overnight before I do any work on it. And there's the blowgun that I want to fit the mouthpiece into it. I made this blowgun some time ago and I used the half an inch copper pipe for it. And before I fit the mouthpiece into it, I need to remove some of this natural fiber twine and also cut off this top section out of the pipe. And now with the twine out of the way and using my trusted little pipe cutter, I remove this top section. Okay, all done. I end up with a small burr inside the pipe. Now with this round file, I'm gonna remove it. It's pretty good now. It should be as smooth as possible for um, the dart to fit in easily. And there's my small drill press machine. Very useful machine. Especially when I have this cross slide table mounted on it. It's like having a milling machine. But for now, let's convert the drill press machine into a wood lathe. And there's my drill press machine all ready to go. I first clamp it in my vise sideways. Then I removed the base. That was easy to do. It's just unbolting three screws. I had this tool rest. It's just a piece of a wood broomstick. And that's for the chisel to rest and to slide on it. And now I just have to grab our piece of wood clamp it and start working on it. I roughed out the outside shape. Now I'll start working on the inside. But for that I had to change a little bit the setup. Instead of using the broomstick as a tool rest, now I'll just use the side of the drill press table. Very close to the final size. Next I'll start working on the inside hole where the copper pipe will fit in. And to check the hole size I'll use the piece of copper that I cut off from the blue gun. Okay I got the hole almost finished. It's still a little bit undersized but I'm gonna leave it like that. For now, I'll carry on with finishing the outside and then sanding the whole thing. Well, I guess I'm done with the outside too. Next, I'll sand the whole thing as smooth as possible. And we're getting close to a finished mouthpiece. Well, it's coming pretty good. I was using 100 grits and paper. Now I'll switch to a 150. Well, 
I think I'm done with the polishing anyway. I'm gonna remove this. And you know what? It doesn't look too bad at all. To have a more ergonomic shape on the mouthpiece, I'm gonna remove some material around this area and also on the opposite side. And there's the final profile for the mouthpiece. I end up polishing it down a little bit more. I use 220 sandpaper and it's a lot smoother now. Next step will be to cut off the mouthpiece somewhere around here and after that fit the hole to the copper pipe. To fit the hole into the copper pipe using a small three side file I cut small teeth all the way around the pipe and after I slowly turn the mouthpiece until the pipe goes right through. Now that I fit the hole to the copper pipe, the next step will be to stain the wood and give her a couple coats of varnish and it will be done. I'm gonna stain the mouthpiece now before I varnishing it and that will bring up all the different colors and the contrast between all the layers from the plywood and I think that will make it look much better. And finally, the last step will be applying a couple coats of varnish. Well, it definitely took some time and effort to get it done, but I think it looks pretty good. For now, I'm gonna let it dry and then perhaps give her one more coat of varnish. And after that, the best part will be to test it and shoot some darts with it. And here it is, all finished. It's amazing what a couple coats of varnish can do. I really like the contrast between all the different colors from the plywood layers. I think it turned out pretty good. Well, behind me there's a target that I set up. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's do some shooting. I'm shooting from about four meters away from the tip of the pipe to the target which is not very much, but that's the maximum distance that I can shoot inside my garage. And I'll use these darts. I made this a while ago. I actually have a video showing how to make these and other darts. This is a hair plug. It's like a spongy material. The shaft, it's from um, Barbecue Skew. And these are broadheads that I also made, which I don't recommend using blowguns to go hunting with. And another thing that I gotta say, blowguns and darts, they're all fun to shoot, they're very fun to shoot, but they can be very dangerous, so be very careful when using these.
Let's go take a closer look at the target. Four meters, it's not too far away. So it's relatively easy to get some darts on target. Well, that's it for today, and I hope you liked it. For now, I gotta say thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time on Mr. My Videos Fame. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do it. It will mean a lot to me, and it will encourage me to make more videos like this one. Bye-bye.